Hello, everyone. My name is Tyler Whitaker. I'm an applications engineer with Teledyne Marine. Today, we're going to be walking through a quick kind of unboxing setup of one of our M-series sonars. Uh, this particular model is the M900-130. Um, you can see the close case here. Uh, this is a, a case of a demo unit, so uh, you can be comfortable knowing that uh, the case you'll get will be brand new and shiny and much better looking than this one. But uh, that being said, I'll go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, with the system, we'll go ahead and just open it up. Uh, inside, uh, there's not too many components, really. It's uh, meant to be as turnkey as possible, as simple as possible. Um, we have here the sonar, of course, uh, the main main component. We have a sonar to surface cable. We have just a simple uh, standard power cable. We have a standard Cat5e Ethernet cable. And we have our PoE uh, power over Ethernet box, which is going to power the sonar as well as carry communication up to the computer, which uh, we can actually see here. So I'll go ahead and do what we call a bench test setup. Um, this is, as the name implies, uh, just a simple setup on the bench on the table here. Uh, very good test to do before getting into the water just to make sure everything's working, we're connecting to the computer. Also critically important for troubleshooting. Um, if you do have issues, hopefully not, but if you do have issues, you give us a call, shoot us an email. The first thing we'll ask you to do is this bench test setup. So a uh, very good thing to know how to do, good for troubleshooting, good for just initial familiarization with the sonar. So um, we'll go ahead and get started. I'll just show you kind of the first steps and then I uh, will switch over to the software and show you show you how that connects. So I'll just put all the components out here on my table. Another quick note, uh, in the back here, typically you'll have some printed material. Uh, usually it's a quick start guide, which is essentially going to walk through everything I'm, I'm talking about today, just the bench test setup. Um, additionally, there is a flash drive in this kind of ruggedized enclosure. Uh, this is going to have your user manual, it's going to have your software, all your important documents on the actual flash drive. So the only printed documentation is really just a, our quick start guide. Close this up, get it out of the way. Okay, so quite simple. We have our, our main sonar here. We have our, our connector on the end. Uh, this is our standard, one of our standard MKS connectors. Um, we can see here, this is a M900, we'll say so on the back label, as well as the serial number. If we do ask you for the serial number, that's where you're going to see it. Um, the very first step I like to do is basically connect the sonar. So we have our MKS cable, uh, gold-plated connector here. Uh, this is going to connect, it's going to line up with a key on the sonar. You can actually, if you look at the face of the connector, you'll see a small key on top. You simply line that up with the key on the sonar and then you screw counterclockwise until it no longer screws in. Make sure that's nice and tight. And we are now connected to the sonar. Uh, moving down the communications path, uh, we have on the other end of the sonar to surface cable, we have a, an RJ45 connector, um, just a standard kind of ethernet connector. Uh, so this is the PoE box. This is going to connect into the labeled sonar uh, port. So I don't know how well we can see that, but you can see PC and you can see sonar. Um, so quite simply, sonar is going to plug into sonar. PC is going to plug into PC. Uh, again, the PC is just a standard ethernet cable uh, you'll find anywhere. Um, and then of course, PC, as the name implies, will plug into your PC. Uh, in this case, I have a little ethernet dongle here for the PC. Um, so that's all set up. Uh, the very last thing you do always is connect the power. Um, so I'll go ahead and use my power cable here, just plug it into the, the PoE box. Kind of bring this around here. Plug it in. Now, as soon as you plug it in, power is going to be applied. Uh, there isn't really uh, an indication on the PoE box, but you can uh, be sure that as soon as power is applied, uh, it's actually going down to the sonar. Uh, so at this point, we we wait 
typically the kind of the onboard computer on the sonar takes anywhere from 45 seconds to minute and a half to fully boot up and connect. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch over to the computer here. So our, our main software is ProViewer. Uh, that's the software we use for our 2D systems. Um, generally speaking, after you've waited your 45 seconds, you can go ahead and click this connect to sonar button. Um, it will search for the sonar and it will eventually find the sonar. There we go. And just like that, automatically connect. So we'll see a uh, our sonar wedge here. Of course, we're not in water, we're in air. So don't expect any kind of meaningful imagery here. Uh, but that's okay. This is a functional test just to make sure everything's connecting. So uh, as soon as you see your wedge, as soon as you see kind of your ping number increasing, um, a number of details, model, serial number, uh, you've had a successful bench test, you can go ahead and deploy, get it in the water and, and start imaging. Um, one other thing I will mention, so uh, we have previous webinars on these topics, but there are a number of potential common issues you might run into. Uh, one of them, the most common is, is IP address mismatch. Um, so I will go ahead and show you kind of how to deal with that really quick, but I do want to kind of revert back to previous webinars because I do cover this in depth on those webinars. Um, everything from IP address troubleshooting to noise and imagery troubleshooting to any number of communications issues. So. Um, but if you're finding that you're powering everything up, you're clicking connect and ProViewer is not able to find the sonar, uh, a good thing to check here on your computer is to go into your network and internet settings and windows, uh, change adapter options. Um, again, this is, this is all on our website. We actually have troubleshooting documents on our website, um, but you'll actually see your ethernet connection I have a number of them, but you'll actually see it listed here. You'll, you'll likely just have one or two of these. Um, it should say unidentified network. Um, you do wanna make sure that this is set up properly as a 192.168.1.3. This is the standard default kind of IP uh, for Blueview systems. So uh, this is an important setting. This is included in the quick start guide. This is included first page on all of our troubleshooting guides. That's why I wanted it to mention it here. So if you do have trouble connecting initially, uh, do make sure this is set to this static IP address. Um, power cycle the sonar, give it another try. Um, if you're still having trouble connecting, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email at that point. Um, always worth trying other components, other computers, other ethernet cables if you have them. Um, however, this is by far the most common cause of connection issues. So um, aside from that, we've had a successful bench test set up here. Um, back to the sonar again, very simple, very straightforward. So uh, we wish you the best of luck in uh, your use of our Blueview sonar and, and thanks for uh, watching.